right karani james I, I don't even know how many times you've been you know on the metal podium you know great bringing home another medal what does this one mean to you here in 2022 yeah i think it's special you know coming off especially an olympic year you want to show people that you can be consistent that you can keep on going and uh, not let up so for me it's, it's, it's always special and you know, i always say every championship it's it's, it's it's unique in its own way the circumstances are unique so for me i'm just proud and happy to be back on the podium and can you talk a little bit about the journey over the past kind of like four years where you know you came back from graves graves disease um and then you went to doha i think you just missed the podium in fifth you you know finally got to the olympics you got your medal but now you're even higher on a silver medal again talk to me about that journey no i mean it's, it's a special journey like i say it's, for me it's a blessing to just be back competing at a level that's highly competitive and you know you just take everything as it as, as it comes you know um it's obviously our event is high very competitive so you can't really take anything for granted so like i say i'm just glad to be back and and, and competing at a high level and being back on the podium who are some of the people that you have around you to support you through some of those tough times and the ups and downs throughout your career yeah obviously my coach you know harvey glance he's been there with me you know since you know, since I just started, you know, in my days at the University of Alabama, obviously my family home, you know, the people in my community in Guelph, uh, you know, in, in extension to Grenada, the whole diaspora in New York, Toronto, all over the U.S., all over the world. So just make, having that kind of support system, you know, I think is important because, you know, I'm just assured that as long as, long as I do my best, these people are going to be proud of me. And, and, and once I know that I have that you know, guaranteed, then I can just go out and compete to the best of my ability. Nice. And, you know, representing uh, Grenada on the world stage year after year, um, you know, there's a long history of sprinting in Grenada, but what does it mean for you to kind of continue that history? Um, and, you know, you still have years to go. Yeah, I mean, it, it all started with me, with Al Alain Francique, you know, when he came on the scene, I think he just gave us the confidence as athletes, youth athletes, to go out there and try to represent our country well, to give us the idea that no matter how small of a country we are, that we can still go out there and compete with the best of the world. So, um, yeah, for me, it's just trying to inspire the next generation of athletes to come. And, you know, hopefully they can just take on the mantle and maybe, you know, I can even, you know, be on some teams with them. So, you know, hopefully that, that can happen. Nice. And what do you do to celebrate? I mean, you got a silver medal. Like, do you get a chance to, to celebrate a little bit or maybe even get some rest? Uh, not, not yet. Still have, you know, um, a couple of meets to go. I don't know. Maybe I might have some ice cream tonight or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, that's about it. What, what kind of ice cream are you having? Uh, chocolate. Yeah, it. that's it. Yeah. How special is this one for you though? I mean, you would have won gold before, silver. How special is this one? Yeah, I think, like I say, every championship is unique in its own way. The circumstances are unique. So... It is special because, you know, just coming off on an, an Olympic year, you know, just trying to, like I say, you know, our event is so volatile because there's guys coming in and out of the event so, so much. So, you know, for me to come out here and compete and just kind of be consistent, just show people that, you know, I'm, I'm still here just being and com competing at a very high level, for me, that's kind of special. So, yeah. Take us back a little from start to finish and um, just looking back at the replay, how did you think you would have done? I know the end result was a silver medal, yeah. but did you think you put together the, 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 the race that you wanted to? Yeah, well, the whole idea was, you know, having Michael in front of me, Michael Norman in front of me, the idea was to not let him, you know, get too far from me because he's, he's, a, he's a guy, he's so talented, he's so strong, he's so fast that, you know, coming off the turn, if he's so far ahead, you're not going to give yourself a chance to catch him. So the whole idea was to make sure I stay close and, you know, the last 100 meters, 50 meters or whatever, give myself a chance to be competitive at the end. So at the end, you know, you never know what's going to happen. So you just want to give yourself that chance. You've been at the top for 10 years now. Do you ever think how long you can do this? I mean, you were the young kid and now you're not old, but how long do you ever think about? <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I always say, you know, my whole idea is to be competitive at a certain level. Now, as long as I can do that, then I'm happy with that. So. You know, competing against these guys, like I said, our, our event is so volatile. I mean, next year there's going to be, for sure, there's going to be a guy that comes along that comes out of nowhere that nobody knows about. So, like I said, just trying to compete at that level. If I can maintain that level, regardless of whether I get on the podium or not, then I'm, I'm, I, I'll try to do it as long as I can. Just curious, do you ever think about time at all? Because it's like, you know... Again, that consistency is so crazy, but you don't, you know, your PB is not, you know, 43.5 or something like that, right? But you're always there. Do you ever think about time? Well, like I say, it's, 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 it's all about consistency, right? So, 
I mean, we've seen it in, 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 in the history of event. If you understand our, our, our event, you know, the last 10 years, there are a lot of guys that have run under 44. But to have that longevity and that consistency, I think that's the key.